Hello, Virgos, with a reading for the sign of Virgos. My beautiful friends, welcome to this space. It is wonderful to have you here. Um, I am excited to be here as well. And um, let's just get right into this for you. <clears throat> We're going to use a freestyle kind of reading, and we will be moving um, through these energies and digging deeper as we go. Um, we are also going to have an extended as well, and I will determine what the focus of the extended will be as we move through the reading. Um, all right, let's get it. Go. Let's go ahead and just get right into it. What is the situation here happening for Virgo? What is the situation here happening for Virgo? looking at the next week or the next couple of weeks, Virgo, not so far out into the future. The next upcoming immediate period of time is what we're looking at in this reading. Of course, um, everyone's situation is a little bit different and your natal charts are all constructed differently. So you're all going to flow um, in your own individual pace. One more energy here. Thank you. You will all flow at your own special, individual, beautiful paces, my friends. All right, give me a moment and um, to get into this reading. Well, my friends, I'm going to start um, on this side and gradually move. I'm going to the energies one by one of each card and move as we go to this side. So that's how I'm going to um, read. Um, we're starting off uh, with a group of Virgos who have been in a period, um, a period of rest, a period of recovery, a period of going within and healing those parts of you that had perhaps lost control, um, lost control. That's such an e that's such an interesting way of saying it. It's not really what I, my brain was planning on saying, but that's what came out. I'm going to continue with this. So I'm just going to release any kind of control that I have over what I think I'm going to say, and I'm just going to let it flow. Um, for those of you who had perhaps lost control um, in parts of your lives that were ultimately the most important for you, such as connections um, with the divine energy, connections with the earth, connections with the people around you whom um, you have an inexplicable tie to, um, there has been a, a quieting, a quieting of the body, a quieting of the mind, and a, and a settling of the soul um, that this group of Virgos have been um, experiencing. Um, we, we don't really know what the environment is around you. We see you in the Four of Swords energy um, here. Um, and, and let me break for a moment. Let me tell you what we have here. We have the Four of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the World Energy, the Four of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. That's what we have here. Um, but we, we we can't really see what, what the situation is go, that's going on around you. Um, we can only see that you're taking some time in solitude, in sanctuary, connecting in what really strengthen, strengthens and heals your soul um, and helps you recover from the battle outdoors. Um, just as a bird nest is in the tree and the tree's branches and the tree's leaves protect the bird nest, so does this sanctuary for you protect you from the outer world that's going on around you. Um, and it is qu a quite a nice energy um, that you've been in. And again, we don't really know the chaos that's going around you. And for some, um, for some reason, you've been able to withdraw from that. And that is a, um, that is something that you're doing that is so very beneficial for you to be able to withdraw from the chaos. We do have, as you move forward, we do have a, 
um, something that you're working on with the three of pentacles. It is a, it is a very healthy energy. Um, you're working on something that has, um, that's in the initial, um, production phase. And why I say production phase, uh, is because this is something that's already materialized in some way, not in an overall completion way, but in some way, this is, um, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a job, a project that you're working on, um, something that you're doing within the community, this has materialized in some way. Uh, there's much more work to be done. There's much more learning um, to, to, to take place. Um, but you're in this, in this journey, um, in, in something very real in your life, working now um, to build something into, um, into more of an infrastructure, into more of a into more sturdiness, right? Into more abundance. It's it's something that has just started. It's a three energy um, it, and it's a three in your reality. So whatever is here, it's not something you're dreaming up at this point. It's not something you're conjuring with your mind. It's something that you're building with your hands or you're experiencing, right? So you're, you are really experiencing this in your reality and it has a good energy to it. It's an industrious energy. It's an ambitious energy. Um, it's an energy of open-mindedness um, where we all kind of come together and we learn from one another and we talk to one another and we share ideas and we aren't um, put off or offended by an idea that's different than ours. We're open-minded to it. Um, the Three of Pentacles is uh, people that are coming together with healthy egos, right? Where one person is willing to listen to the next and one person is willing to teach the next. And the other person is willing to learn from the next. And maybe the next day, the person who learned from the, from the, from the other person is now teaching that person. These are people that their egos are in check and they're interested in building this into something that's full of vitality and success. And they know in order to do this that they're, that they must come together and learn from one another. And one day the teacher will be the student and the next day the student will be the teacher. We hear that phrase sometimes, and it's such a beautiful way to say what I've been trying to explain. And at some point here, fairly soon after that, you will be presenting something or talking about something or um, putting on your hat and saying, okay, it's time to go. It's time to move. It's time to do this. It's time to step forward in a new way in my life. And whatever you're working on is something that you can really trust. It's something that you can really hang your hat on. So Virgo, I see in the next week or two that you are saying something you've never said before or doing something you've never done before. And this is not anything that is secretive. This is out where people can see you. Um, this is a six of wands energy. This is a action energy. It's an action energy that is propelled forward with deep passion, um, deep passion that comes from the soul. So there's something here that you're doing that has motivated you that has helped you to say, you know what? I know last year or five years ago, I wouldn't have had the ability to do this, or I wouldn't have the belief in myself to do this, or I wouldn't have the passion for this cause. And now I do. Now I'm ready to go. So something here <clears throat> with the Six of Wands, it's a little bit deeper energy now, Virgo, when I get into this energy. It's a little bit of a deeper energy. You've learned things over your past journeys, haven't you? You've learned things. You've, you've experienced life. And when you experience life, you gather lessons. It, it gathers fuel within you. It, it brings you to further understandings. It, it gives you strength. It gives you moxie. So you can step forward in a different way and reach new heights at, in, within your soul expansion and step forward and have that courage to allow people to see you in a new way when you're being strong. Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds so good, Virgo. To allow people to see you in a new way when you're being strong. Ooh, that's a delicious sound. When you're being strong. When you're passionate and full of vitality, those people around you get to see you in that energy. 
And that energy that you are going to radiate off yourself, what happens with that energy? Oh, that's a virus. That's a beautiful virus. And that's, that virus is contagious. That passion, vitality virus is contagious. And the people who see you, they can get that virus with their eyes. They can receive it with their eyes. They can receive it with their ears. They can receive it through their aura. And they can take that virus in and they can become infected with that virus. And they can become passionate in their lives. They can become passionate with the things that they do, how they step forward in new ways, and they can go infect other people. Woo! So when I'm in this energy of the Six of Wands, it's a very, it's a soft energy. It's a soft energy, Virgo. But it's very intense. It's very intense. It's almost like a pillow full of down is released or cut open. The pillow is, is, is torn apart and all the down or all the softness of the pillow, um, is floating up around in the air. The feathers within the pillow are floating in the air and they're sprinkling around and they're blowing in the breeze and they are softening the lives of other people. It's, it's like, it's like, um, feathers, white feathers flying everywhere, white feathers, white down flying everywhere. And within each one of these feathers is the passion and the vitality and the dreams and the desires that is in the energy that you will carry forward. We have the world energy here as well. So this is something that is something that is new. It's expansive. It comes at the heels of some sort of an experience that has brought you enlightenment, um, an experience that, because there's an ending that you're referring to here, there's an experience here that is fueling you. Right? There's an experience here that is fueling you because ultimately that's what fuels us. That's what builds the passion within us are the experiences that we have and the lessons that we learn. So there's something here that's fueling you. There's something here that you're connecting to that is helping you move forward and that there's a story to tell here. There's an energy to share. And I think that this energy that you have to share over the next week or two is going to connect to people in a way that will help them to see their own suffering within it, will help them connect to, because I'm in the world in the Four of Cups. I'm in the world in the Four of Cups. It will help them to connect to the energies that are, are creating a, um, a, a discomfort in their lives. It's going to help, help to, now this is a very interesting energy that's coming across. So as I channel this, the energies are different. So you're going to have to give me some time to, to, to allow this, to allow my mind to open enough to allow this energy to come through because this is a different kind of energy, Virgo. What you are doing, whether it is something small or something big, it could be something quite small. It could be something that you're saying to your family. I'm so excited about this next week because I get to start a new project that has to do with um, um, whatever it is. I don't know, something that you're doing. Uh, it's something new that you're doing. It's something that you've been holding back, right? Because there's going to be an element of, of awe. There's going to be an element of surprise. There's going to be an L there has to be an element of surprise here. So there's an element of surprise is what I'm getting. 
Um, there's an opening of yourself. So you're sharing something about yourself here. You're sharing the energy that's within you, just like I'm in this reading where all of a sudden the energy comes out in my words. You're sharing that. It's something that you're very passionate about. It's something that can be controversial. That's another energy here, controversial. controversial. Um, and I don't mean it has to be political. I'm just saying that it's something that it will surprise people and you will be opening up. You won't be towing the line. You won't be stepping in line. It's, it's like you're going outside your own circle. Uh, you're going outside your own circle and I'm feeling this energy and it's kind of, a, um, it's, it's a little bit scary. It's a little bit scary, but it's also very exciting. It's also very exciting to be able to say it. And the way you might say it, you, your voice might even shake a little bit. You're, you, you might not even say it exactly the way you wanted to say it, but you're saying it, you're doing it. It's like it's on your mind. Like let's say you're at a family gathering and you're all sitting there talking and there's something that keeps pinging your mind, something that you really feel is true or something that you really are going to, going to plan to do or something that's, that's on the tip of your tongue or it's in your mind that keeps pinging you. Talk about this. Talk about this. Talk about this. I want to talk about this. I want to talk about this. I want to talk about my project. I want to talk about this new thing I'm doing. I want to talk about this trip I think I want to go on. But it's not something that you've maybe talked about before, or it's not something that um, people know that you're interested in, and it might not fit with everybody's ideals of who you are. It might not fit within the circle that you have allowed pe people to create for yourself. It might be outside that circle. And so you get this voice, talk about this, talk about this, talk about this vacation you want to go on. Talk about this, you know, talk about, talk about this um, hobby that you like to start. Um, talk about this garden you'd like to rototill that you would like to plant in your backyard. Um, you know, talk about this new business you would like to start. Talk about this new um, humanitarian effort that you'd like to be involved in. Talk about this new movie you'd like to make. Talk about this, talk about this. And it's not something that fits within that circle. And you, it's like the whole evening, it's like you, you are, you're getting pinged by that. And all of a sudden you say, you know what I've been thinking about doing? I think I want to go on a road trip and I think I want to go to all, um, all, you know, I, I think I want to go to, to three provinces and I think I want to go to five U.S. states and I think I want to fly so, to a different country and I think I want to do this. I think I want to help people or whatever it is that you're doing. And in that moment, the room becomes silent and everybody looks at you and there's quiet and then you get a chance. This quiet is not a time for you to sit back and be embarrassed about what you've said. It's a time. It's like the room is quiet. You get more time to talk. There you go. Talk some more. Talk some more. And in that moment where you release a part of yourself that no one has seen before or that doesn't fit inside the circle that has been created around you, what does it do for the other people in the room? It might shock them. It might trigger them. It might make them worried. It might make them think of all kinds of, of reasons why you shouldn't do that. Sure, that's the first response. But what happens to those people? Just like a virus, okay? Here we come back. Just there's a, there's a, there's a period of time where it takes hold on the body. It takes hold on the soul, right? And maybe a week from, a week from now, your sister or your friend is going to be in her kitchen and she's going to be thinking, you know, I think that sounds like a pretty good idea. You know, I've always had this dream about something that I've wanted to do, and I've never felt like I could do that. You know, I've never felt that I would be supported. But, I mean, here, here is my friend who is talking about doing this. I mean, I think I could maybe do what I've been dreaming of. That's how it all comes together. It helps people see a new expansiveness in their lives. This is the Four of Cups with the Two of, with the World. That's the Four of Cups with the world. Let's expand the energies around us. Let's fill our lives with what used to be discontent, with what used to be boredom, with what used to be unhappiness with the surroundings that we live in, or unhappiness with our governments, or unhappy with with our unhappiness with our families, or unhappiness with our romances or unhappiness with um, the world at large. And let's start to fill those spaces with different energy. And that's what you're doing, Virgo. That's exactly what these energies are. That's why we're 
That's why we're, we're in this reading. And there may not be that many of you. This reading is probably not going to be one of my biggest readings. Who knows? But let's also think maybe there's more of you out there than we ever think. Maybe this beautiful group of Virgo people can begin to change the worlds around you in such a beautiful, compassionate, gentle way that is in your own nature. Look at this Nine of Pentacles energy. Independence. Strength of self. Understanding of your own identity. Enjoyment of life vitality and vigor and youthfulness and passion and expansion of horizons. Over the next week or two, this group of Virgo people are going to get up, feel inspired, walk over to their window, open the window, look out of that window and see the world around them in a different way. Whether they do that with a whole group of people and the whole group of people get to experience that with them, or whether they do that with their child, or whether they do that with their workplace, they are, in fact, being seen when they step onto that stage, Six of Wands. They are being seen when they step onto that stage and they embrace themselves with the courage, with the brilliance, and with the passion that can be found in source energy. Whatever you believe in, it's a connection. It's a connection to the energy that is above us, that is around us, that is within the world um, around us that we can pull into ourselves. And they are able to do that, and they step up with that energy, and they begin to influence not only their own selves in the action, but the people who are around them. And this is how you start waves of change. And this is this group of Virgos. Virgos, please let us know if you have something that you're doing or if you have a dream. And if you want to practice that dream, if you want to practice it, and if you want to express it, put it in the comment section. I'll protect you. I'll watch the comment section. I won't let anything in that is, that is negative. But if you want to share, if you want to start building that energy, go ahead. I'll protect that. Um, I will read those comments. I'll try comment. Um, I'm getting lots of comments now, which is so beautiful and so wonderful. And I'm trying to stay on top of them because I do enjoy it. Um, but feel free to, um, to share the dream that you have that's been pinging you. If you're not there yet um, and you're resonating with this energy, I feel like in the next week or two that you will be there. All right. Let's just take a few minutes now to connect in um, with, with some of these energies. The, this reading was, it was fairly straightforward and the energy just um, really kind of came out. So there's not a whole lot more to dig here. Um, but I do want to look in the, into the Six of Wands. And I think I do want to look into the Nine of Pentacles, um, these two energies. Um, and as we move out into the future, I think that we will do another reading for the month of June. And we will dig into that reading, see what kind of, see who's there, see what other people are there um, with you. Um, and just, it's just kind of gauge the environment, gauge the feelings that you're having. How will you be feeling in that period of time? Um, what will you be intending to do? Uh, maybe we'll look at money as well and see how money is feeling. Um, and so we're going to take the first week or two of June and really dig into those energies in that period of time. All right. So before we go, let's look at the, these two energies, the six of wands and the nine of pentacles. Six of wands. Tell me more about the six of wands. Intensity, double energy, intensity, three of cups, boy, that is beautiful. Eight of cups, releasing. Rebirth. When we have this double energy next to the three of cups and the eight of cups and going into the death energy, we're talking about taking this this intense energy within you and wrapping it with love, taking intense energy within you and wrapping with love. Um, the people that have the people that have connected in with this energy are 
have have really started to discover the shadow within themselves. And and the shadow is not always what we think it is. Sometimes the shadow within ourselves is, is a real deep um, fear. It's a real deep insecurity of what our true dreams are. And what you think, what, when you think about it that way, how the shadow within us, the insecurities within us, or, or the lack of confidence of self can really keep us from stepping into an unimaginable future or um, a brilliant um, escapade or a um, a, a trailblazing adventure um, that we've been really dreaming of, or maybe just a, a very loving, relaxing retreat experience that we've been dreaming of. That the sh- that that the the fears and insecurities within us can really overshadow our deepest dreams. I mean, that in itself is a shadow, and that in itself, when it's wrapped with love, when it's wrapped with love and acceptance, can really um, move forward in you in a very strong wave. When What happens when we take the shadow aspect of ourselves and we wrap it with love? It really merges together and becomes very intense. That's an eight energy. That's empowerment. And so this is what I mean when I say that this is a very intense energy, but it's a very compassionate. It's, it's white feathers, um, but it's also so intense there are so many feathers right this is the energy that i see with the three of cups and the devil energy this kind of an energy you're wrapping this intensity with love with bonding of people with connectiveness of people you're showing your intensity of who your soul is to the people who care about you the people who love you the people that are in that are in your friendship group or in your family group or in your soul group. And you're talking about some sort of movement now, some sort of movement now um, that is going to inspire you, that brings passion into your walk, that um, tickles your toes, that tickles your fancy, that brings in new flavors into your life. This is transformation. It's the beginning of transformation. Will this journey be difficult? Possibly. But it will also be wonderful because we know that we are in a world of polarity. Where there's difficulty, there's also a a, a beautiful ease. We know that to be true. That is something that is so true. So I think that you're saying, you know, I really want to live um, a different experience. And I'm going to sh- start sharing this with people. I'm going to start sharing this with people. I'm going to start opening myself up to other people's views and to other people's looks and to other people's glances. Because there's something here within me that is saying it's time now to show my true colors. It's time now to show my true colors. And walk towards a brighter horizon because the sun is going to come up tomorrow a new day a new opportunity to move forward like this beautiful Virgo I'm excited to see what what's going to be here for you in, in another couple of months. So I'm going to move into the extension now or into the extended reading now. Thank you all for being here. It's a pleasure to read for you. And I hope that you all stay well, that you all stay healthy and strong. And I'll see you back out on YouTube in another week or so with another update for Virgo. Thank you very much.